Hey babies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Miss Chisel. So in case you do not know me, know now. So in today's video, I'll be talking about some of the pros and cons of schooling in Ghana. So the first pro is the fact that the degree, the certificate you get from a standard Ghanaian university is world class. It's international. Like Ghanaian schools have international recognition. You do not have to bother about people questioning your certificate or questioning your degree or questioning whether you studied or you studied or not. Speaking of international recognition, I think it's also worthy to mention the fact that Ghanaian schools rank high internationally. For the con, schooling in Ghana is quite expensive and I'm not just talking about um, tuition, I mean travel costs, accommodation, cost of living, like it's expensive. But at the end of the day, it's still one of the affordable options if you want to school abroad as in if you want to go international for your tertiary education another thing about Ghanaian universities is the fact that their learning environment their classrooms laboratories they have a very conducive environment for learning the school campus is clean they have good facilities at least let me speak for my school Ken UST yeah Ken UST is very beautiful has good facilities, good labs, good hostels, good classrooms, everything is just really nice and it's comfortable, it's conducive for learning. So let's talk about language barrier. The thing is, in Ghana here, all of them have like a common language and that's true. And they tend to speak it a lot, even in formal environments. So, as an international student that can't speak or understand Chu, you might find that difficult. Yeah, so let's talk about the people, Ghanaians. Ghanaians are actually really friendly and they are very polite. Like they use please before every before making anything like they can say please three times in one short sentence. Oh sorry, please excuse me. Can you please can you do this? Please, please, please. They're very polite. But then on the other hand, they are very sensitive. Like you can't just joke around. Like you mean I just joke around? Like you can just call your friend a hey, you fool or something like that, and then nobody is angry. But if you say that in Ghana, if you say that in Ghana, it will come for you. It would come for you. So the next thing I want to talk about is this issue of strike. Honestly, before like prior to the time I came to this school. I was like, ah nah, Ghanaians don't have strike, Ghanaian universities they don't strike, Kimiko. But now, now, given the recent happenings, I do not know what to say on that matter. But okay, well, I can say that in Ghana, like Ghanaian universities, if they strike, they don't strike for long periods, like long and just forget about everything. They actually the strike will only take time or it would only last for long because they are trying to resolve whatever issue caused them to strike. You get. But then yes, strike or cause. And another thing, strike is also not that frequent. Like I think the last time there was a strike was like 10 years ago. And it's just unfortunate that now that I'm here, they are striking. You get. <laughs> so another thing about schooling in Ghana is the fact that during breaks you can you know explore because Ghana is such a beautiful country and they have a lot of tourist attraction and resorts and all these things so you have so many regions to visit you can go to Cape Coast go to Accra Volta region anywhere and then enjoy yourself during the break and just see what the world is like outside your country but unfortunately for me, I haven't been able to do that, but it's something that I really want to do before I leave this country. So let's talk about the food in Ghana. I feel like in Ghana here, like concerning their food, they do not have a lot of variety. And as an international student, maybe you might not be ready yet to try their local dishes. And then you just be limited to eating rice, spaghetti, chips, and I don't know. That's basically it's just going round and round, eating carbs like that. But yeah, and even their local dishes, I mean, it's not a lot. 
they have their bank they have fufu and all these things but compared to where i'm coming from compared to nigeria nigeria they have a lot of variety even in local dishes and i think that's because we have a lot of tribes but if you're coming as an international student, if you're coming as an international student to somewhere like kumasi you probably i don't know because kumasi doesn't even have a lot of restaurants so food is a bit i don't know <laughs> so we've come to the end of the video i hope this video was able to entertain you and inform you if you got to this part of the video please leave a heart in the comment section below and obviously do not forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye man.